Hey guys, welcome to the daily news analysis. Guys, this is a, today is dated 20th of January. Let's see the very first news. First news is about India has got admitted to the Australian group. Now, what is Australian group? Basically, the aim of this Australian group is to prevent the proliferation of biological and chemical weapons. And with this entry of India, it is being said that we'll, you know, do our best to, you know, prevent the proliferation of biological and chemical weapons throughout the world and it will indeed ensure that the world will be more secure and these are the countries which are painted in green that are presently in this uh, australian group and uh, though previous year also we got a uh, group entry in two huge huge groups that is missile technology control regime as well as was in our arrangement right and with this entry it is i mean it is being said that the international community has a huge you know belief on india that you know india's non-proliferation God is very good and you know india will be acting as a responsible member state in this group right and though we have uh, i mean we have uh pitched for our entry in nuclear supply group but uh, the china was the only country who was you know uh, stopping us from uh, entering to that uh, you know a nuclear supply group but it is said that with this entry you know since our voice will further be raised and you know it is probability that uh, in coming days we can get entry in the nuclear supply group also next news about pradhan mantri surakshit matritva abhiyan now the it was a news because uh, uh, figure of 1 crore mark has been covered under this uh, Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Matridva Yojana. It was a Yojana under which uh, it was, I mean, the, it will be ensured by the government that antenatal care checkup will be provided to the pregnant woman. Now, what is this antenatal phase? Antenatal phase is the phase from the time when the uh, mother get pregnant up till the delivery time, right? So that time is very crucial time and that it is said that if that time the care is not given to the mother, then there is a huge probability that there occurs the maternal mortality rate will get increased, right? But uh, since these uh, things are provided, then it is said that, you know, the maternity mortality rate uh, will overall get reduced as well as the future health of children will also be remain secure, right? And it was being launched by Ministry of Health Affairs, guys and it was a scheme under which it was urged from the governmental as well as the non-governmental that is private uh, doctors to you know make themselves present on every ninth month i mean every month every ninth date of uh, any month right in governmental hospitals because a campaign will be launched under the pradhan mantri surakshit matrito yojana under which the pregnant women will be given free of cost checkup and that checkup will be comprehensive and quality antenatal care to all the pregnant women right so I mean, the, uh, it was a news because uh, it was said around one crore, uh, more than one crore uh, pregnant woman has got their antenatal checkups under this Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Matridva Yojana. Hai na? And few of the figures are also written that uh, though all the state and union territories have made significant efforts, but Maharashtra is the uh, one among the non-empowered action group states who has, you know, sh uh, reported to be the largest number of checkup in, uh, all over the India, right? And that Maharashtra is coming under non-empowered action group states. States. Now, what are these empowered action group states, guys? Empowered action group states are those states which are socially and economically backward states. But Maharashtra is not a socially economically backward state. If we say the overall Maharashtra, right? So Maharashtra does not come under empower, uh, empowered action uh, group states. But under the empowered action group states, Rajasthan has got the largest number of this antenatal checkups, right? And the program, uh, as I've already told that uh, there has been engagement of private sector doctors also. And uh, one data is being given that uh, about maternal mortality rate, guys. See, in 1990, the figure of India was 556 women were dying per one lakh of live birth of woman right that time and that time the world average was 385 but in the year 2011 2013 when the world average is 216 life i mean woman dying uh, you know per lakh of live birth that time the figure for india is 167 only with respect to the world population world uh, figure of uh, 216 it shows that uh, from 1992 you know now i mean 2013 the health checkup has gone a huge increment right and after these kind of activities like pradhan mantri uh, this i mean the yojana which is i'm talking about that pradhan mantri surakshit matritva yojana the figure is you know i mean expected to be further increased and in the favor of india right and regarding the empowered action group states guys a there are eight uh, states and those are economically or socially backward states and they are bihar chhattisgarh jharkhand madhya pradesh odisha Rajasthan, Uttaranchal and Uttar Pradesh, right?
Next news about INS Tanini. Now, whenever I call you about INS Tanini, you should click the thing that what it is related with, right? It is related to Navika Sagar Parikrama, under which all the crew will be women and those crew will be belonging from the Indian Navy group, right? And they will be circumnavigating the whole world and the passage of their circumnavigation will be from Goa to Australia to New Zealand, whole through the Pacific Ocean to this, uh, I mean, be below, you know, south uh, you know uh, this uh, south america then to uh, africa south africa i mean the whole i mean south of africa then again to goa right so and they will be conducting this uh, through the sailing through ins insv tarini that is indian naval sailing vessel tarini right and the crew will be all women crew there is no single men crew there right and uh, it was a news because they have recently crossed the Drake Passage. Now, what is this Drake Passage, guys? I'll show you. Drake Passage is a region from here, below the South American region, right? This region is called Drake Passage. And the Drake Passage is between the South America and Antarctic Peninsula. And see, guys, it is called the Mount Everest of Selling. Because, uh, you know, if you can see the, you know, uh, lower passage, I mean, lower the, uh, you know, but seabed uh, in uh, geography, if you will see. Then there comes a huge mid oceanic ridges, right? So it is probability that if any big ships pass through it, then they might got stuck over here, right? So, but since it is a small ship, it has passed very clearly, right? There has not been any problem though. So, yeah, this was about it. Next news is about Maharashtra government has rolled out 1% reservation for orphanage children, and it is indeed a very good news actually. And it is said that Maharashtra, I mean, it is first of any kind of state who has come up with this kind of policies, and guys. Uh, uh, the eligibility for under this uh, Maharashtra government uh, this step is only those child who have no idea of who their parents are so they will be given uh, reservations so that their social and economic empowerment must can be ensured and uh, indeed it is said that it will help the orphanage people and uh, orphanage children to get education and employment especially in governmental services next news is about united nation environment management group actually the secretariat of united nations environment management group is planning to launch a campaign which is called i mean which is related to waste management in the united nations system right and the campaign is named at say yes to less in order to raise awareness of the waste reduction and management among the un staffs all right and uh, it is also said that uh, you know it will address the sustainable consumption and production i mean both the things will be there that sustainable how to you know use anything sustainably how to consume anything sustainably and how to produce anything sustainably so that indirectly the biodiversity doesn't get uh, hurt negatively right and regarding the environment management uh, group guys it was established in uh, the year 2011 and it is a un system which is having wide coordination body especially on environment and human settlement related issues means whatever the uh, issues that uh, pops up regarding the environment and human settlement that is being dealt with this uh, environment management group of un united nations right next news about uh, maharashtra un has unveiled a public cloud policy under which uh, uh, they have said that uh, you know it it is virtually being uh, required by each and de department so that you know they shift their data storage into cloud right which will be made free to the general public and it is being done under the united nations governments act that is called national data sharing and accessibility policy 2012 which mainly mandates to facilitation of access to governmental owned shareable data i mean those data will only be shared who which are shareable right those data won't be shared which are you know i mean which can might harm the national security right and uh, under it guys it is said that uh, like uh, mainly the right to information i mean uh, pub under public cloud guys those data will be mainly kept which are coming under right to information act and uh, though many things will be free but uh, may, uh, on many things there will be charged also by the government right so yeah next news about an asteroid which is called 2002 aj129 and uh, it is asteroid uh, if you see its dimension it is uh, taller than the our earth's burj khalifa which is called the tallest building and uh, on february 4 it is said that it will pass by the earth 2.6 million miles away right and it has been designated by us space agency nasa as potential hazardous and near earth object 
and regarding the asteroid if you want to know then it is basically an irregular shaped celestial object which is smaller than planet and it don't have any fixed orbit right and it are mainly they are mainly found in asteroid belt between the mars and jupiter as you can see here between mars and jupiter these asteroid belts are mainly found next news about national conference on improving accessibility which has been launched under uh, accessible india campaign and uh, this is basically a conference which mainly aims to you know sensitize and bring awareness among different stakeholders including the officials of the state government on accessibility issues because uh, since uh, though government has launched this accessible india campaign you know to help the divyanjan people to you know get access to different governmental services right but uh, the uh, you know uh, I mean the sensitization level in state if you see then that is found somewhere lacking right so under this national conference on improving accessibility all the stakeholders has been you know kept at a single platform and they have been asked that you know you should get yourself sensitized to the fact that government has launched accessible india campaign and it is indeed the aim of whole india to you know make sure that uh, uh, you know the pe person with disability get access to each and every governmental services right not only governmental services different other services also all right and under it guys basically 100 accessible websites has been launched on uh, various state government and uh, unit territories basically the aim uh, is that accessible websites are those websites into which person with disabilities can perceive understand and navigate and interact with the web see because it is these websites are being made basically because through web it is being seen in present day world that people are earning right so it might be possible now that they might also earn in the uh, incoming future right so that's why this uh, you know conference has been done and 100 accessible websites has been formed for especially the people with disabilities so that access so that they can access it to the extent which normal people can access also right because say for example if i am uh, you know i cannot hear anything right i am dumb right then how can i you know hear what is being said in youtube videos right so for that you know there might be some sort of facility which will facilitate them to understand what is actually going in these videos right so that's why these kind of websites has been launched though 100 percent thing has not been given i'm just guessing it out from my perspective only next news is about annual science and engineering indicator 2018 report which has been released by national science foundation and uh, there are many data related to the india as well as the whole world so let's see about india guys actually our india is uh, has accounted for 25 percent of the bachelors uh, you know around the world on the year 2014 in science and engineering department right that is from uh, that is from 25 percent of the world's science and engineering bachelors have been received from india on the year 2014 as well as other uh, data is also given that united states has topped the charge in r d spending china's growth in science and engineering field has is being at an, an exceptional pace though us is a global leader but you know the china's rise is very continuous and is very huge and it is pro and it is being said that you know in coming years china can in fact you know lead ahead of us and also it is being said that since 2000 the science and engineering bachelor's degree that is being awarded in china has gone up by 300 percent which is a huge figure and regarding the science and engineering publications that publications are the paperwork basically right so it is being said that united kingdom's bachelors has done the highest international collaboration rate in these publications means they have collaborated with the international students and they have wrote you know many uh, you know papers and publications right which is being followed by france the countries like france and germany and in this report guys it was also said that us invest huge in r d and attracts most virtual capital they award more advanced degree in the whole world and they also provide the most business and financial informative services as well as they are the largest producer in high technology manufacturing sectors so guys this was all about it and for those people who has been continuously asking me that sir how to join this telegram group how to join this telegram group see first you have to go to the google play store right then you will have to type telegram t-e-l-e-g-r-a-m you will see this kind of logo right so just download it 
after downloading when everything will be open there will be search bar right you have to write there shubhodeep study materials if you don't uh, know that what is the spelling of it just see it here otherwise i'm just putting in the you know comment section below you can see it from there also and you can directly download it and regarding those students who are still in confusion that how to you know reach out to the main answer writing discussion series that i was earlier continuing in youtube but now i have shifted to an academy just because of the reason that there we can makes different lessons in a single course right so that is very good thing in uh, you know an academy so if you at all want to access this guys i'm just giving you the link below you can access it there itself right so this was all about the today's news guys we'll meet in tomorrow's class till then bye bye take care and thank you for listening to me guys thank you very much